Hey, it's Scott from theproductionacademy.com. Today in this video, we're looking at this very simple passive two-way speaker. Uh, we're gonna talk about what makes it passive, what makes it two-way, and I'm going to show you the passive crossover that is built into this speaker enclosure. So what makes a speaker passive versus active? Well, active speakers have amplifiers built into the speaker enclosure. So you could plug a mic level or line level signal directly into an active speaker and it would work as a self-contained unit. However, passive speakers don't have amplification built in. You need an external amplifier. So the line level signal would go into an amplifier, which would boost it to a speaker level signal, which is strong enough to actually drive this speaker. So it's a, it's a passive speaker, we need an external amplifier, but we have two separate drivers in here. We have a, a driver that carries the high frequencies, which is actually a compression driver and a horn. I'll just refer to it as the horn. And we actually have a, a lower frequency driver, a 15 inch woofer that can handle all the lower frequencies. If you were trying to do everything with just the low speaker, it would sound really muddy. You wouldn't hear very many highs. And if you were trying to do everything with the compression driver and horn up here, you wouldn't get any lows. These are really designed to handle specific parts of the frequency spectrum. Now, if we want like a lot of low frequencies, we'll have to use subs in, in addition to the speaker to get a really full range system. But this is gonna be great for covering everything from say 150 Hertz on up. So since we do have two separate drivers in this speaker enclosure, we call it a two-way speaker. And each one of those components can use a separate discrete channel of amplification. So you could have one amplifier channel driving the highs, one amplifier channel driving the lows. Now that's called bi-amped. So how does that work? Because if we want just the low speak, the low frequency is going to the woofer and the high frequency is going to the compression driver and the horn, then we'll need to split those up somehow. So uh, we do that with a crossover which splits the signal into two line level signals, one just with the high frequencies, one just with the low frequencies, and each of those goes into a separate amplifier channel, which would drive each driver independently. But in this scenario, we only need one channel of amplification because there's a passive crossover built right into this speaker enclosure. This is pretty much the simplest way you can get a two-way speaker to work, one channel of amplification, passive crossover, which splits it to the highs and lows internally inside this box. So I'm gonna flip the speaker over, pull it open so we can take a look at that. So looking at the back of the speaker here, we have our inputs, either NL4 or quarter inch. Now remember this is quarter inch speaker level, not quarter inch line level, because the signal has already gone through an amplifier and been boosted up to speaker level so it can drive the speaker here. Now these are wired in parallel, meaning they're directly connected to each other. They're not meant to be two inputs. They're meant to be one or the other. So don't try to hook up two channels of an amplifier output to uh, both of these at the same time. It's not gonna work. Um, but if we pull out this panel and take a look, this is the actual passive crossover that uh, separates the highs from the lows. So this allows, this allows us to, to use the one speaker output, the one speaker channel, to power both high and low signals, uh, which are split up by this passive crossover. So this lets us not need an external crossover. We can have a line level signal directly into one channel of amplification, coming directly into the speaker, and we'll get our, we'll power our two-way speaker, the, both the highs and lows with that one channel of amplification. All right, this is a pretty simple speaker setup. Obviously, when we get into big professional speaker systems, things get way more complicated, but I just wanted to uh, pull this two-way passive speaker out just to demonstrate some core concepts. Obviously, we go into way more detail in our essential live sound training, so if you wanna learn more, you can go check that out at theproductionacademy.com. Plus, we'll be having a lot of uh, a lot more audio tips right here on this YouTube channel and this blog. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. 
the uh, subscribe button is right below this video, or uh, please leave comments, questions in, in the comments section below this video as well. I'd love to hear from you, I'd love to know what you think. But until next week, I'm Scott and I will see you then.